Welcome back to Montana this morning, and it is eclipse week leading up to the total solar eclipse that's going to move across much of the United States as we start getting into next Monday. And still some folks are wondering what exactly is all the hoo-ha about. We're going to show you a little bit about it here today. Here we go. This is the path where we're going to see the total eclipse. And so it goes from around Portland, Boise, right through Casper, Wyoming, which is where we will be. Q2 will be down there broadcasting live from Casper as we start getting into the uh, Sunday evening, Monday morning. In fact, they've been terrific down there. I should call them Casper the Friendly Hosts. So as we get through the, they'll move out through the areas of the Carolinas. Now, we still will see a substantial part of this across Montana, where Billings will be at about a 93% total eclipse, which will still give a fairly dramatic look for you, but you have to be safe about it. We're gonna talk more about that as we get into the next few days. So here's where the, where the actual process happens. So through the morning hours, what you'll see, if you have your glasses so you're able to view it, is the moon starting to move in front of the sun. So the moon has to be at exactly the right distance away from the earth to be able to obscure that orb with the sun and it'll start to move in. So the Billings area, what we'll really see is maybe about this much just before it really goes. So you'll notice it quite a bit and it'll start to cast a bit of a shadow. If you're in areas like Casper under the total eclipse, what you'll start to see is this little area where you'll see this diamond ring effect start to happen just seconds beforehand. You'll be able to see uh, glimmers of light around the outside of the moon where it actually is picking up on the craters and the hills that are on the moon's surface. And then it moves into a total eclipse for about two minutes and 26 seconds if you're in the Casper area up to 240 in certain portions of the country. So that's what you're able to see. However, I'm going to show you this as well. In fact, Jenny Fix is going to give me a little bit of a hand with this as uh, we've got a basketball to show you. Come on over here for a second, Jenny. We'll start over here. A basketball showing the size of the earth. And the tennis ball that Jenny has would be the moon. So the tennis ball has to be in direct line in between, except it isn't quite that close. Jenny, go on over there. We'll kind of show them how far the Earth is away from the moon in order to cast that shadow. Is this good? Uh, maybe a step or two back. Back this way? Back that far. <laughs> so it's about 25 feet between the basketball and the tennis ball, just to give you an idea of how far apart the moon and the Earth are for it to cast that little tiny shadow that's going to go across the region. We hope that you'll take that in and you will enjoy the eclipse. We're going to be telling you more about it as we get through the week. Let's see what's happening this morning in business news. Three pointer. 